All right, Tara. Uh, so to start us off, just tell us what schools you went to. All of them? With I've gone to like... Oh, is there, there a school. lot? Didn't I tell you? I've gone to like eight schools in my life. You've been to eight schools? Yeah. Okay, um... I'd name them all, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I was born in Wyoming, and I went to elementary school there until I was eight, so that's one. Then we moved to Idaho, and I went to Green Acres Elementary, and then we didn't like it, so then I went to Washington Elementary. Um, Still in Idaho. Yes, this okay. is all in Idaho, and then um, we jumped around. We went to this charter school for a little while. It was stupid, and then this other school for a little while, and then we went back to Washington for a while. It was just <laughs> you went to it four. Sucked. I was like a new student so many times, <laughs> and then I went to middle school, mm -hmm. and then I went to high school in Idaho, and then sophomore year I moved here, and so then I went here. I don't know how many that was. I wasn't really counting. <laughs> <laughs> you you went to four or six elementary schools. Four in the same state. Yeah. Were they like how? I was a trouble child. <laughs> really? No. Okay. No, no, wasn't it? Because <laughs> that'd be really interesting. Um, no. Well, why did you guys move around so much? I mean, you guys went to from Wyoming well, to Idaho. Most of them were just in the same place. Like we didn't move really. They mm -hmm. were just like different elementary schools in the area, I guess. Well, why did you move? Why why moving across states then? Oh, um, that was for my dad's job. He's a doctor, and he was doing, like, the urgent care, but he didn't, like, like it as much, so then we went to Idaho, and he did, like, he just does things for a while, and then he kind of gets bored of doing that thing, so then we, he tries something else, and so we move. You just move along with him? Yeah, because I guess my mom describes it as, like, having different chapters in your life, and, like, each state is, like, a different chapter in your life, so it just, like, adds, I don't know. Adventure to life, I guess. I don't know. Adventure in Idaho? I guess. Well, my dad, he lived in Utah his whole entire life. And then my mom, she always moved around like, her whole life. So they were like very different. So. Well, um, you went from Wyoming to Idaho to here? Or you went mm -hmm. back to Wyoming? Mm-mm. Why? Okay, well, why, why go from Wyoming to Idaho to Colorado like was there like anything <laughs> was there anything specific um, about your dad's job that made it necessary to move hmm. across three states that are right next to each other that's a good question I was too young when we moved to Idaho I don't know why we moved there but we moved here because my mom I think she was born in Colorado so she kind of has like that nostalgia for Idaho, <laughs> I guess I mean Colorado you, you yeah you're not you don't uh, know where your mom was born <laughs> no she was born she was born in Utah. You don't know where your mom is from? <laughs> Why does that? She moved around. So okay. I, she's all over the place. She lived in Hawaii for a little while. Well, um, how was, how has that affected you? Like, how was moving around so many times? Did, I mean, mm. were you able to adjust fairly easily? Was it kind of difficult jumping all, all over the place or? Um, I kind of just got into a, a rhythm. Like, I kind of got used to being the new girl, I guess. And, Really, what I learned is just people want to talk about themselves more than, like, that sounds really bad, but <laughs> I just mean really that if, pessimistic. You, like, if you, like, are interested in them, like, everyone loves to talk about themselves, so you just ask them, see, you know this because you, like, interview people, like, <laughs> if you ask them about themselves, then you get them talking, and then they like you because then they're, like, you know, talking, so that's what I learned, just Not some questions, like, don't try to... Tell them about you, like, ask them about them, I guess. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you, uh, I, I mean, do you, did you ever, like, prefer one school over the over other and then moving anyway? Or yeah. were you always just kind of very passive about it so you didn't grow very attached because mm -hmm. you knew you'd move anyway? I've actually always hated change. Like, really? Like, everyone leaving middle school, everyone's like, oh, you're going to love high school. High school's so much better, you know. And I was just like, no. <laughs> I like this. This is fine. <laughs> no need to change. And so, like, most people on the last day of school, you know, they're like, yay, last day of school. Like, crazy. <laughs> but I've always, I'm always, like, depressed on the last day of school. Um, <laughs> yeah, really? So I kind of take change hard, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though I've had to do it so much. Most, most people 
gradually <laughs> get happier as the end of the year approaches. <laughs> You're the complete opposite. I don't, and like now I'm terrified. Like, <laughs> I'm not ready for college. <laughs> well, but that's how I felt about everything. Like I didn't feel like I was ready for middle school or high school. So it's normal, but yeah. Um, going in between states, um, did you notice any particular differences between the three of them? Or are they all kind of, ev everyone's kind of the same? Um, they're always really different right out first. Not in like major things, because it's not like I'm switching languages or mm -hmm. like even climates really, they're all kind of the same. But like, I don't know, it's just weird because it's just like totally strange, you know? Like you don't recognize anything. Like usually when you go on a drive, you like recognize the buildings that you pass or like houses but then when you're somewhere new it's just all new and it's crazy but then you get used to it after a while even though I'm pretty terrible at directions so I still don't know how to <laughs> get places <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well um have you um now that you're about to leave school again what, what are your plans for after uh, after graduation um I'm actually going to CSU oh, okay very nice yeah. Yeah. What do you want to, what do you plan on studying there? Right now I am undecided exploring. <laughs> exploring your yeah. options. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't really like science. So, much. <laughs> so you got that, you narrowed it down that yeah. much. <laughs> Which is sad because that's where like lots of jobs are. <laughs> <laughs> like the good career high paying jobs at least. Well, um, but. is there a reason you don't like it at all? Science? Or? I just... I don't like science, I don't know. Well, do you have, are, are you, are you walking into college completely blind, or do you at least have some um, idea, besides the not liking science thing? <laughs> well, I've always, I don't know, I've always kind of thought I'd be a teacher, but lately, I just remember growing up, every single person I ever asked wanted to be a teacher, like all of my <laughs> friends, like everyone was like, oh, I'm going to be a teacher when I grow up, so I, now I kind of feel like I need to branch out a little bit further, <laughs> like, wait a second. <laughs> I can push myself harder, but, I mean, being a teacher is a hard job, so it would still be hard, but, I don't know, because, like, we've been in a school our whole life, so, I don't want to, like, you know, not <laughs> Get be in out school, of school anymore, yeah. yeah, exactly. Not spend your entire life in a school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, so, I don't know. Well, what's your reason? Social work. Do you have it? <laughs> social. Wait, you want to be a you social worker? You stopped that last time. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be a social worker? Yeah. That's why not? your. That's your dream. Why not? Well, I'm. Not, I'm not. I don't mean it. It's such fulfilling work. <laughs> it does such amazing things, and they make really big differences. Well. In people's lives. Is there anything specifically in social work that you want to do? Hmm. I don't know yet. Maybe. I don't know. Domestic violence. Maybe. I don't well, know. The the reason I I I am surprised I, I'm surprised in a good way like I'm, oh, it's okay. very admirable of you. <laughs> wow, thank uh, you just because a lot of people their their dream job is very elaborate and and far reaching oh. um, not all the time <laughs> um, I mean I mean there are people whose dreams are very simple um, and there and they're, again there's nothing wrong with that um, I, I I just I'm I'm curious what is it about social work that makes it your your dream job, like that's the thing you want to do. <laughs> it's just my idea. It's not like something I've always wanted to be when I grow up. You know, I just recent. I don't know. Just like counseling, I find interesting. I'm in psychology right now, and I mean, I feel like everyone majors in psychology, <laughs> <laughs> but it is cool. And I'm just into. I'm just into like, you know, helping people, and like, I just love it when I can help someone. You know, like. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, okay, go ahead. Keep going. You keep know, going. like just being able to help someone when they need it, and like you can really change someone's lives, I guess, in that situation. You know, uh, and that makes sense. Like you can be like their lifeboat when they're like drowning. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you want to be a person's lifeboat? Yay. That's really nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so you, you've you've moved around schools a lot. You said you've been to eight schools in total, and only one here. Um, but <laughs> yeah. has there, what about Silver Creek has really stood out to you? Like uh, about all of this, I mean, I, I don't want to assume it's your favorite school. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I would think it would be, but, um, is there anything about Silver Creek specifically that really stood out to you that you really enjoyed in comparison to the other schools that you've mm -hmm. been to or, or even like seen in the general community? 
Yeah, um, definitely I noticed how, like, nice everyone is here. Like, everyone's very, you know, friendly and, like, willing to help you and stuff like that. There were a few schools in there that people were not very nice. Really? Like, not, like, mean, but just, like, not as welcoming and not as, like, friendly, I guess. Even in Idaho? <laughs> the charter school was pretty bad. <laughs> but, I don't know. I was also younger in all the other schools, so... Like, I was kind of not as, I don't know, you know. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Well, um, was there an, ever anything that, I mean, that we did as a class or as a oh. school? I mean, I mean, your answer's fine. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, no. Is there um, anything that we did that specifically, that, that filled you with pride, that makes you proud to be oh, a Silver Creek? Silver Creek? Oh, I actually love Silver Creek. I just, <laughs> I love being a part of, like... I just feel like we have really great staff. Like, everyone you talk to is just really friendly. I mean, yeah. I was going to say something mean, but I won't. <laughs> just like, not all the teachers are, like, the best at teaching, but they're all really good people. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> Their heart's in the right place. And, I don't know. It's been fun. I'm in RLC, and that's really fun just to kind of be more a part of the school because when you move around a lot, it's kind of hard to, like, grow roots in the school that you're at, you know, because you're new. And I mean, I still am kind of new, like, I know a lot of people here have grown up with people that they're in class with, like, since elementary school. And I can't say that, but, I don't know, I do feel kind of more embedded here, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense. Do, oh, do you feel like you have been able to establish roots here, or do you, mm -hmm. or do you feel like, and I guess kind of like, what is this like yeah. to be an out, and not an outsider, but yeah. like very, I mean, watching right. and seeing all these people who've known each other for years right. and trying to establish yourself there. It's actually in the beginning, I kind of find it kind of refreshing because in my other school, I was there long enough that, because I did live in Idaho from the time I was eight until like, you know, sophomore year. So I did grow up with those people and you just kind of realize, you kind of get into niches without realizing you're getting into niches. But when you come here, everyone's a stranger. So you don't know who's friends with who or like who's like, you know, in sports or in band or stuff like that. Everyone's just, you know, people and classmates. So then you can just talk to anyone for a while and then you kind of like, you know, find a group, I guess. What, what is it like? Nice what is it like? <laughs> But what, it, what what was it like here? Um, I mean, our class is so tightly wound. Not not in terms of, like, strictness, but in terms right. of like we've just... Growing up together. Exactly. Yeah. And, and for so long that right. coming in at the tail end of it, mm -hmm. um, how, how was that for you? Like, did was it really hard? I mean, you, right. you said it was refreshing, but I mean, right. kind of looking at the outside and seeing what our class is like. Yeah. I think we have a really great class. Everyone I've met has been really cool. Cool people that'll go far. Um, oh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, well, like if you could, if you could sum us up, if oh, you could yeah. sum us up and. I mean, there's there have been times when like I'll feel left out because they'll be like, oh, I remember, in you know sixth grade when this happened. Ha 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 ha. ha. <laughs> it's just like. No. no. <laughs> but that usually doesn't happen because most people aren't that reminiscent all the time, you know, so it doesn't really come up that often. And everyone's really, you know, inclusive and... Is that a word? I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> they're all really nice. And yeah, it's been good. Well, um, it, um, our, uh, our class can be kind of rowdy sometimes. Um, and you don't have a lot of memories of us. Yeah. Um, I mean, only a couple of years. Right. So, the time that you've spent with us, what is one memory that you'll hold on to of us for as long as you can, for as long as you can imagine? Of our, like, whole class? Of, like, mm -hmm. like, something, yeah, something that we did or something that happened yeah. that you witnessed as a class that you were like, okay, this is, this is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really think of anything. Well, what about even like even just your time here at Silver Creek? Is there is there a, is there something that happened during your time here that 
has really stood out to you? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I kind of don't know our class as well as I would like to because my sophomore year I had to take a whole bunch of freshman classes because they weren't required in my other school and then they were required here, so I actually know a lot of the juniors. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in general, I don't know. I can't really think of anything. Like anything at like an assembly or like a, something weird mm -hmm. happened at class? Yeah, I've definitely had those moments, maybe in assemblies. Kind of like when we took our senior pictures just a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Like just the feeling of like being a part of like this whole group of people. It's just kind of crazy to think about all the different lives and all the different like paths people will take. And just being a part of that, I guess. But I mean, so that kind of like stood out, I guess. <laughs> kind of just like that moment of realizing, like, oh, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, to close out, um, uh, do you do you feel like you've left a mark here? Do you feel like after, and it doesn't have to be huge, like it doesn't have to be like I took out the one of the <laughs> bricks out of the wall, like that's my brick. My mark. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean this anything, anything, it doesn't have to be anything huge, but do you feel like leaving here in a couple months in May, oh. do you, th <laughs> not to make you think about it, but do you, um, do you think walking out of the building, you will feel like, you, you will feel accomplished, like you, like my time here was well spent, I yeah, guess. Yeah, and you, and you left a, a, a good memory that will be lasting within the people you knew in the school right. you grew up in. Right, yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't do anything, like, really mo monumental, like, on the wall <laughs> but um yeah I definitely feel like um like I've definitely gotten to know some pe really great people here and like made really good friendships and relationships and you know I think I'll leave an impression on them at least I mean the teachers there's been some really great teachers here that will still be here after I'm gone. Hmm. Even th even sad. though even though you you only were here for a couple of years. Yeah, I've definitely still I haven't met as many people as I would have liked to. Like I feel like there's not enough time to meet all of the great people that I could if I had more time. But I've definitely met some really cool people. Awesome. And really great teachers. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to answer any of the questions. <laughs> That's okay. You did great, Tara. Thank oh, you very thank much. You. Thanks, Hunter. <laughs>